Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ASUS ROG Ally and one of the big complaints that I've been hearing on my channel as far as just day one out of the box, what people are experiencing as far as um, just the device itself. And I think I'd like to note the very first thing that people were talking about was the joysticks. They said that they felt a little bit unresponsive. They're not getting as, uh, there's a little bit of input delay. Now, if you actually have your hands on one of these devices, you're probably feeling the same thing. Now, let's take a look here. I'm moving the joystick, but there is almost no movement until we get about right there. Right there. Now, when you're trying to use a pointer and try to be precise, I'm kind of used to it now, just after a day and a half of kind of playing with it. But at least for right now, Ooh, as I say that, it, it definitely leaves some to be desired. So let's hop into Modern Warfare and let's see what this looks like in a game. Um, I think that this issue can be fixed over time. I think that this is a software issue, not necessarily. There is quite a bit that'll be hardware bound just from what this device is and what it's able to do. Um, there is no uh, low latency settings as far as uh, most video games that I've tried out so far. You guys, if you've seen any games that have low latency settings that are that you're allowed to turn on or off, let me know. So far right now, the only fix that I've been able to find as far as at least dead zone, and it kind of goes hand in hand, not perfectly, but I'll just hop into the shooting range here and show you guys a little bit of what I'm talking about. Um, the the, it feels like there's a lot more delay than there actually is due to the fact that there is so much dead zone to kind of play with here. This is a brand new device. This, I understand that most consoles, most controllers when you first get them, they do have it set to around 0.15, somewhere around there, just so if there happens to be some kind of... A, issue from the factory, the average consumer might not notice something like that. But where this is a brand new device, um, one of the first things I like to do whenever I get a new controller is I like to turn the dead zone down because I feel like they kind of are being a little bit more careful than they should with it. So if you see that there, I can actually be fairly precise with my movements. Let's put on a scope here that actually has a little bit more to see. Maybe something like a sniper scope, yeah. So I can actually be a lot more precise than I could when I was just scrolling around. And that is just due to... It's very interesting how the vibration sounds. If that's coming through on camera, it's very interesting having the sound off here. We'll turn that up a little bit. And then we'll go into the settings. And I'll show you guys what you can do, at least for this game and most other games. Um, input dead zone. So if you turn that down to around 0 0.07 or 0 0.05, just depending on your device, if, if you are having any stick drift. Uh, th that is the main reason why these devices come with such high dead zone values, is they just don't want complaints of stick drift. Um, if you guys have had a Nintendo Switch and have been unfortunate, I've been very lucky. I have not had any stick drift when it comes to any game. And I'm being very honest about that. I've had the original Switch, um, no issues. Same same here with my OLED. Um, there really wasn't a lot to write home for the Steam Deck as far as um, first-person shooter games that were uh, fun is as far as uh, something that I would enjoy. Now, the lack of anti-cheat support really kind of killed the killed the fun there. So I wasn't able to test this out on Battlefield, or I did play Destiny, and there's a smaller bit of uh, delay, but you can turn on, um, on most games, at least if I'm uh, not mistaken here, there are low latency uh, settings that you can turn on for most of these games. Um, now, I wish I could do a more fair comparison between the Steam Deck and the Ally, but just because the Steam Deck can't play a lot of these first-person shooter games where this really matters, and, and the reason I'm saying this is that there are games like, say, like Resident Evil, Dead Space, like horror games, stuff like that, or just kind of stuff that you're playing to just relax with. You can have a bit more delay, and you're not really going to feel it or notice it. 
So I didn't notice it on the Steam Deck. I don't know if you guys did or didn't. Um, you'll have to let me know if you felt that it's somewhat similar. I definitely do think straight out of the box that there is a lot to be desired as far as the delay on this. Um, in my very first gameplay video I did for Modern Warfare, it was rough, you guys. I didn't actually mess with the settings to change my my dead zone to have it be smaller until after I'd made the video. And then by then it was a little too late. And I think I got only two kills in, in an entire round. So unless you get used to it, it definitely can hinder your performance as far as uh, multiplayer games like this. I'm going to be testing out Destiny later tonight. And then hopefully maybe even Battlefield if I can get that installed in time. And I'll let you guys know. Those will be more gameplay videos, settings videos. I will let you guys know and though. Uh, in those if the delay is really noticeable. I feel like I've kind of curbed it a bit here with the with just fixing the oh, it is extremely hard to see what I'm shooting at here you guys you'll have to forgive me but at least it feels a lot better than it did before. Go back and if you've seen that video of me playing Modern Warfare testing it out you'll see the difference. I, I was not able to hit barely anything during that entire video. Now, um, I feel like I've fixed a majority of the problems. As far as software side, if this is something that's fixable, I definitely do think it is. Um, I think they have their priorities in a little bit different uh, place right now than that, as so it may take a minute to roll out. I know this, this literally just launched, I mean, uh, yesterday. There's been preview units that are out and about, but as far as actually getting into the customer's hands, today is pretty much the first day that we've had a full full day or two, depending on when you got yours, to, to mess around with this. So I think in the next coming week or two, as, when more complaints start coming in, that it kind of seems like at, the, uh, at Windows Home, that there's like issues like it just it feels you can see that you can really see that on screen like I am moving my thumb goes all the way back and it is still going now when you're trying to play a first person shooter that's not the greatest thing in the world so hopefully that gets fixed um, and it just as far as the joysticks themselves I like a change I honestly do like how these feel they feel very premium i guess i should say they look great the actual uh lights there i think look fantastic they did a wonderful job with those the feel i mean just to show you how much of a different style of joystick this is look at how much you can see the actual joystick that ju it just looks and feels different let's compare that to this i don't know if it seems similar like the joysticks just rotate differently on something like an elite versus this also the rubber tops on the on the the rubber on the top feels really nice to the touch i don't know how long that will last if you guys have had xbox 360 controllers you know exactly what i'm talking about or gamecube controllers um i don't think rubber in certain spots does super well it kind of just feels like it's set on top of there I don't know if that'll come off over time. I guess that's just something that we'll have to see. But for now, um, I know some of you guys have been having issues trying to get your series, uh, your Elite Series controllers paired up to the device. Um, if this is a, pers a persistent error, I might have to make a video on that. So at least for the time being, uh, the only fix that I know of right now for this device is per game, change the dead zone. Um, and I know not every game is going to have that. It really just comes down to, is it a first-person shooter game or is this an RTS or something? Most games won't have that. And, and certain games, you'll really feel this. I know that just for, for what this device is and the hardware that it's packing, there are certain limitations when it comes to that. Not everything can be extremely um, responsive. It's It's not a... A gaming desktop with everything in mind to be extremely responsive this is power first and then that kind of got put on the back burner i feel like side note if you're wondering this is an actual this is actually an oled uh switch screen cover and i just slapped it on there because i had two extra um until mine gets here so 
that definitely does work. This also fits inside of the Steam Deck carrying case. Just don't squeeze on it too hard and it fits in there very snugly. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap this up for the video for right now. Um, I pretty much covered on all of the points that I wanted to touch on. Um, if there is anything that you guys feel like I left out, please let me know in the comments below and we can discuss this. You can talk about it with other people. Um, that's one of the things that I've been loving about this channel so far is how involved everybody is. You guys have been commenting your questions, what you want to see me do, what, what other people have been up to. It's, it's just been phenomenal to go throughout my day and talk back and forth with you guys and have you guys talk with each other on, on issues that you're having. So feel free if you feel like I didn't cover this good enough in the comments. I bet you can find somebody else who has a similar issue as you if you found a fix. We'll talk about that down there. Um, I really appreciate you guys for sticking by. If you did stick at, uh, stick around to the end of the video, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, hit that subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming out tonight and in the next coming days. I've really been loving this device and I can't wait to get more footage out to you guys. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.